Yes, possibly good evening, depending on when you like to listen to or now, thanks to YouTube, view uh, podcast. This is Uticus Knockout Audio. I am your host, Uticus Knockout, a.k.a. Lance Malden. This is a new Christian podcast dedicated to finding joy in the Lord simply through Christian conversations and with various topics. Uh, I'm going to get into a little bit about what we're doing over the next couple weeks and just give you a little intro as to who I am. Uh, This is going to be released February 26th at midnight, Uh, but then the other ones will be between 30 and 40 minutes is where we're going to try to keep these, Uh, and we're going to sit down with people and have conversations, Uh, either actually get to sit down with them personally or have them on a webcast, got the next few, at least for a month and a half, lined up, ready to go, Uh, and so we're doing it. This is going to be great. Um, and so I know the first two you're going to hear from our beloved ministerial staff here in Robbins, North Carolina. And I understand that what I do is a reflection of the ministry here. Uh, and so I have that great accountability, uh, with these guys to, uh, do this podcast. And, uh, I'm really looking forward to doing this and, uh, not to say that I'm anybody special, but that we just, can sit down and have conversations with uh, believers. And so you'll hear a lot more from them than you will hear from me. At least that's the intention. And this is just a time to be uplifted and encouraged through these conversations. Uh, And so that's what this podcast is going to do. Uh, And so if you're interested, welcome. And I hope you enjoy. Um, If this is something that you're not interested in, just click off of it. It'd be great. (laughs) Um, And so... Anyway, uh, I'm just going to share a little bit about my story as part of this intro so you can kind of get to know me and where I'm from. Uh, I grew up in a small town. Uh, We like to call it L.A., Tennessee, but it stands for Little Atwood, uh, and really it's just Atwood, Tennessee. A very small town. I lived in the same house for 18 years of my life, and yeah, I have a loving mother and father. Um, and a grandmother who poured the gospel into me while I was younger. And I did grow up in a Christian home, thanks be to God. I, um, I love the fact that I was born and raised in a Christian home. Um, and then was saved when I was around eight or nine. And I uh, got baptized at First Baptist Church of Atwood. Uh, although I did spend most of my time uh, after that at House Baptist Church. Uh, where I really got to grow and um, learn things of the Lord and uh, really just learn to love the Lord more deeply. And um, then I went off to college um, and went to Murray State University, where uh, I graduated in 2015 and uh, was going in to do one thing, and the Lord kind of changed my direction, and I surrendered to call to ministry my first year of college. Uh, is very interesting though when um, my senior year of high school I started to do more with the church and um, I remember we had a pastor there was Dr. Tony Latham and he always told me he said you call me when you go into ministry and I thought he was um, kind of crazy I thought he was nuts um, telling me I was going to go into ministry uh, because if you knew me and you're listening to this when you knew me in grade school what I typically call high school, um, I'd just assume go out and do the street, then do any type, and get hit by a bus, then then public speak. I just, um, I feared it. Uh, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, the great thing about ministry is that I don't have to put myself on display, is that I get to put Christ on display. Uh, and so there is my, my heart and my spirit uh, just saying that uh, Christ above anything else. Um and then after, after that first year, I started getting more involved in the church, got surrounded by uh, godly men, uh, had a lot of godly mentors. Um, the church I was at, Dr. Scott Douglas, uh, was one of my first mentors, and then I did a couple mission trips and got to know a guy who was the pastor of prayer and care at First Baptist Church in Murray. Uh, his name was Boyd Smith. 
And then the director, had two directors while I was um, in college, the first one being Mark Witt, and then the second one being Jonathan Clark. Uh, Both godly men just uh, continued, poured the gospel into me, stretched me, uh, started teaching more, uh, started to become more passionate about the gospel, and really that's the lifeblood of who I am and what uh, this, mm, my journey will take me, is just uh, glory, seeking glory in the Lord. Uh, And then I went to seminary, started seminary in 2015, did two years online, and then uh, came over to uh, Wake Forest, North Carolina to finish up my degree in person. And uh, within a couple months there, do what every seminary guy does and met a girl, although I will say that my girl was not in seminary. She was actually getting her master's at East Carolina University, and she had graduated from what she would call Carolina. If you're from these parts, they just call it Carolina. It is North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And um, she graduated from there. And so I uh, met her while I was in seminary. And um, we dated for a full year. Uh, and then the next year on our first date, uh, we I got I proposed and engaged. And then, um, yeah, about a year, a year and some odd, two months later, Uh, We ended up getting married. So I got married in 2020, uh, February, uh, and then a month and a half, COVID hit, shut down. Uh, And then we spend the next several months uh, together, and we got a lot of our (laughs) fights or whatever you want, quarrels out of the way. And uh, yeah, now we have two little girls that are a blessing in our life. And um, so yeah, that's just uh, a little bit about who I am. I've been here at First Baptist Church of Robbins uh, for quite some time, about four years now. I started about two or three months before we actually were married uh, and got to actually invite some of them uh, to our wedding. And um, yeah, I've been here for four years now, going on a little four years. And uh, yeah, the Lord has just done some wonderful things here. And uh, I feel truly blessed to be here. And um yeah, it's been going good, and um, yeah, I'm excited about uh, this little kind of extracurricular activity uh, with this podcast, and so that's my story, and as I say, I'm sticking to it. Uh, I will just note that this title, Eutychus Knockout, comes from Acts 20, where Eutychus is in the window, and um, Paul's preaching, And Eutychus inhales some flames and he falls out of the the window and he he dies. Well, my intent is not to bore you to death. Not to say that Paul's message was boring. Probably because it was late at night. I think that's really the reason why he passed out. Because late at night, he was probably a worker uh, or some kind of laborer. And he just died. Uh, My intent is not to bore you to death. These conversations that I'm going to be having are really meant to be a joyous time where we get to learn from people uh, who are a lot more knowledgeable um, and further along in their maturity with the Lord. And so it's just meant to be an encouraging time. Uh, And so um, that's what the purpose of this podcast is, is just to seek joy in the Lord. Uh, And so if this is something you are interested in and you want to hear these conversations, go ahead and listen. Uh, If you don't, just just go ahead, swipe, swipe, you know, take it off. I don't care. Uh, But anyway, uh, but the idea for you to kiss knockout audio also comes from a book that I read while I was in seminary. And I recommend it to any pastor. Um, If you're watching via YouTube, you can see the cover, uh, but it's called Saving Eutychus. Okay, Uh, and it says how to preach God's word and keep people alive. Uh, and I believe that all Scripture is God-breathed, and it is profitable for reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. Uh, and just as Peter, or as Paul charges Timothy, uh, we've got to preach the Word in season and out of season. Uh, and so I'm really looking forward t- for you guys to hear some of these guys who are kind of honed in on a specific area of ministry, such as worship theology, and expository preaching. I'm really excited for you guys to hear that. Um, And so um, this is what I'm going to be doing for fun. 
And so uh, I don't intend for it to be a real stressful time. I want it to be an encouraging time for the people who are brought in and also for me, but also for you who are listening and taking time out of your schedule uh, to listen. So anyway, uh, that's all I'm going to say on this intro. Uh, The next podcast will be dropped at midnight. Uh, I think it's March 4th. Uh, that's whatever the Monday is. A week from now, um, the next podcast is going to up, and then they're just going to start dropping each Monday. Uh, so hope you guys will tune in. Hope you guys have a great, blessed, Jesus-filled day, and hopefully you can 